poor commiseration to mm. defeat against Preston. How, how are you feeling after that one? Ah, listen, I feel OK because we didn't deserve to win the game, especially first half. We looked tired, jaded, sloppy, giving the ball away under no pressure whatsoever. Um, and, you know, I mean, there was nothing between the two teams, to be fair. There was nothing at all. It's just, as I said, I always keep saying it to you, Rich, it was on the day. And we, you know, we're coming at half time, nil nil, scrappy game, not really exciting. Um, and you thought it's just been one goal might win it, that's the way the game was going. Um, and then obviously second half, I said to the lads at half time, that's not acceptable. I know you're tired. And that's been three games in six days. Um, but you're at home, in front of your fans, it's the last time we're gonna see you for a month. So just, you know, up the intensity, get yourself going individually, look at yourselves. You know, and just try and collectively try and, you know, get this crowd going. And to be fair, the fans stuck with us, you know what I mean? They always do here at this ground. Um, but no one deserved to win the game, I don't think. I think it's one of those games. Uh, once they got the first goal, you kind of thought we were going to struggle to get back into it. We got the penalty. And then after that, we were going to get the winner. And then you make one or two mistakes, you don't go with runners, and you're 2 1 down. And, um, as I said, it's a game that's, if I feel robbed, you know what I mean? I think a draw would have been a probably fair result on the basis of it. They've come away with three points. And I've just told them in there, listen guys, you need, that's not acceptable. I get you're tired. I said, but they didn't look tired. They looked hungry, they looked fresh, they looked like they wanted to try and win the game. And we looked, we looked tired, you know, from one, from, no, I can't say Joe because of the goalkeeper, but from the rest of that, but it's a team game. So we all looked tired as a, as a team. And, um, you know, I just thought it's just one of those kind of games that, it was just going to spill away into a 1-1 and then, the, you know, but obviously the, the goal lit the penalty lifted us. They then stayed, then cut us. They were all over the place then and we looked like we were going to get the second one, but it wasn't to be. And I'm saying, just take a point. No, but take a point, take a point. You know, take a, it doesn't matter, take a point. Uh, and, you know, come away with, with, with nothing and uh, that's a lesson to us. But listen, we've got to move on. We've got to move on. We've got another tough game on... Tuesday against Watford. As you said, the lads are out on their feet. You can see it in the way they play, you can see it in their intensity. Um, they know more to give. And when you're playing and asking the same players to keep going to the well three times in six days, that's the performance you get. You touched on it before in the championship, you know, for all the endeavour, sometimes it comes to little small moments, and as you mm. said, they're making mistakes, getting punished, and mm. you know, that's kind of what's against turn one point into, into nothing, isn't it, really, tonight? Say that again. So what it's it, one point has turned into nothing, you know, just small errors that we're getting like mm. punished quite harsh. Yeah, right? definitely. Yeah, listen, I, listen, I, and I funny I looked at the um, the game against Luton, and the biggest thing that stood out for me is people not going with their runners, and that was again today for the second goal. You know, the ball goes in, and these guys back to play. We don't go over runners, and then we don't get in front of the ball to stop the shot. Um, and it is every little mistake we're making, we're getting punished. But it's all about the detail, and you've got to do this little details right. And if you don't, and you think, oh, it's okay, then it's not. But it wasn't just that, though. It was just like, you know, there was no probably cohesion to our play, you know, no patterns. We did, I mean, down the right-hand side, we got a bit of fun, a bit of joy. You know, you thought Thomas was going to get the equaliser in the last minute. Um, so, that's it. I'm not, I'm not standing there saying Reddit Preston were a better team, because they wasn't. Um, we just we just looked lethargic, and, and I'm hoping we're going to put that down to the three, days, three games in six days. It doesn't get any easier, as you mentioned, in the sense that we've got another couple of games before the World Cup, but, you know, mm. I guess it's about taking that pain of tonight and, and you know, channeling it in the right way for, for Tuesday, really. Yeah, listen, Watford's tough, we know that. You know, as I said, it's a bit like going to Burnley. Uh, but at least we've got probably, what, four days rest, is it? It's not bad for us, so, you know what I mean? Um, four days rest, and we're going to have to freshen it up. You know, we can't keep out to the same players as, again, to keep performing. It's tough, and they're not robots. And... Um, it's, it's cruel on the players to keep asking to perform that. So we'll look at it Tuesday, try and freshen it up. Um, and then hopefully we've got the last one on Saturday against Hull and then they get a well-deserved rest. Lastly, again, as you mentioned there, Burnley's a good example to take. You know, we played top of the league and pushed them all the way. Could have got more, as we know. We're going to go to Watford, another tough team, and we know that we can put the, put the, you know, put the things in place against a tough team. We can play against the best teams in the league and, and show oh, what listen, we're about. Listen, 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 there's not, there's not a lot in these teams, you know what I mean, as you said. But it's the case of, you know, today was disappointing in the fact that we didn't actually start the first half well. We're at home, we're strong at home, we've got a good crowd here. 
you know, and we, 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 we looked all over the place, you know, losing the ball for no reason. And you know, just sometimes that's what you get when you're tired, you know, and never really had any control of the game. You know, their passing was better and slicker. Every time we got it, we tried to go back to front too quick. And you can't do that, you know, we can play football. So, disappointing. So, listen, listen, it's, it's one of those where, like, dust yourself down. We've got two games to go, uh, but we definitely have to fish up on, on Tuesday because uh, you can see the players today were out on their feet.